So we are literally gonna crash some quads today. Because we just got sent some awesome new technology from Lumineer. It's their Popo motor system, pop on, pop off, quick swap technology. Now the way this works is you can literally take off your props in seconds. The prop and the motor have an interlocking system that connects the two. You slide the prop on, you twist it, and you actually hear a audible click when it locks together. To take them off, you do the reverse. You push the button down, it unlocks the prop, you slide it off, and you're done. And as you can see, they also have threads so you can put standard non popo props on if you want. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be skeptical that their props will stay on without prop nuts. So we're gonna try to get this popo locking mechanism to fail. Now, to do that, we're gonna test them to the extreme. We got first crash test, it's called the Ghost Branch Slam. Ian's gonna be going through this and seeing what we get out of it. All right, they're up and away. Oh, oh. we found some there. Here he goes. Oh, oh we got some shit. there. Dude, this branch came and Good just ate go, it. Good to go, dude. Popo the, don't oh, care. Popo don't care. All right, I'm going for some more scraggly daggly. Oh, yes. Oh, oh what's going through? Those pops so still sound really smooth. Quite. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Where you stuck it? Wait, we're good. Yeah, on the ground. Oh, he's Once up. again, Popo, Look don't at that, go. dude. Those props are still sounding really smooth. Yeah. The video looks smooth, too. Going up, coming straight down through. Oh, oh! <laughs> that was a good one. That was, oh, up. Why in the world? Are you kidding me right now, Ian? Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Quad's all good, but he's got a little friend. <laughs> <laughs> the motors are good, the bells, bells don't look bent or anything like that. Oh yeah. Dude. All right, so that was the Ghost Branch Slam. Everything worked out actually better than I had expected. And now we're gonna have full throttle gate smasher. So here goes nothing. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Dang, dude! Oh, oh, oh. I... oh my goodness! <laughs> you broke the gate, dude! Oh. The, oh, gate, the gate exploded into pieces. It's no longer, it's hanging down all droopy. It is. The quad flew into the barn underneath a huge tractor. Let's go Let's check this it. out. And dude, oh my goodness gracious. Oh pieces. man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is great. I gotta find my quad. Let's That's go what find I gotta quad, find. Dude. Oh Did I go in the tractor? Oh, oh no, oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Oh my dude. goodness. Are you kidding me? Prop came off. But I think that's from hitting the metal, man. I it's doubt good. anybody has tested any quad by hitting tractors. After hitting a gate? Okay. So let's try to put the prop back on. All right. Okay. All right. I think the prop is stripped. So the prop has a locking mechanism with grooves, and the grooves got stripped. So we put a new prop on, pops in, works fine. I'm gonna give a little line of sight cover real quick. Yeah. That was full out of gate smasher. I love it. Oh, yes. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the cartwheel crusher. The two ways this happens is if you get too close to the ground, or if someone plugs in their quad on the same signal, boom, there it goes black, and your cartwheel on the ground. Let's see what happens. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's the cartwheel you're looking for. Dude, the cartwheel crusher in full effect. Dude, yeah. Oh, he's back up again. Dang, dude, that was fantastic. Let's, let's assess the damage. So we got all four props in tag. Everything's smooth, still like the same as when I took off. Yeah. 40 foot cartwheel and everything's intact. That's everything's fantastic, fine. dude. Next crash up, my buddy Matt's FPV fail safe fallout. I'm gonna take it up high. I'm just gonna disarm. And we're just gonna see what happens when it hits the earth. Oh, here, here goes nothing. So what fail safe, if you don't know what fail safe means, yep. essentially you lose signal from your transmitter to your quad. Yep. And there's no controls, you have no authority over anything. You're at the mercy of the fallout. All right. And I'm disarming. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Oh, <laughs> 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 You, you just clipped it. It's like, go oh, boom. No. You ready to go check it out? Yeah, I, oh, man. Kind of. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, in a real scenario, that's exactly what your quad will do because most yeah. of us have it set up where you just like cut all control to the quad. Right. If it fell towards my proximity, I probably right. would have regained signal. Exactly. Dude, look at it. Let's it's check fine. it in. Dude, it's perfect. <laughs> You're golden, man. Let's give it a test hover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, do great job, man. All right, so next up, we have Ian on the pole ring dinger. So he's gonna fly some high speed chicane through these poles and ring dinger. <laughs> Let's see what happens. That was close. I'm getting nervous. Oh, yes! Yeah! Are you good? He's good! Oh, no something sounds weird. No oh, oh, geez. There's no more, the bearing is crushed. Okay. Well, it actually broke the shaft. <laughs> the shaft broke in half. Yes. That, that's the kind of speed he was going through. Side note, prop stayed on. Wait, watch this. You have this? You need to change your prop? Dude, easy peasy. Thanks for playing. All right, so we have one extra motor. We changed that motor. And the cool thing was he had to take his props off because you want to be safe, right? But it takes, what, 10 seconds to take your props off? So there's no excuse not to be safe anymore. So the last crash of the day is something that you'll see in racing all the time, right? It's called the mid-air mashup. So you'll be flying through a gate, be coming around a corner, boom! Smashed together. Yep. So we're gonna test it out right now. Woo! I'm nervous, I'm excited. Yeah. Coming through it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 man! <laughs> oh, this is epic. Coming through it. Oh! He's up, he's oh, good! No, 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 I'm coming. Anything left of anything. Let's check it out. Oh, it's been static. Oh, oh man. Dude, it's fine. Oh, we're good. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> All right, so we got GoPro explosion. Like, both of the canopies the are canopies crushed. The canopies are crushed. Motor. My motor's fine. Motor. Motor. All my motor. Fine. And the props are still on. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the membrane. All the me. entire nylon stack is completely <laughs> demolished. Here's the cool thing is that all these scenarios that you're gonna see in real life, these things held the test of time. Obviously mm. with the pole ring dinger, the motor came off. Everything else, it handled it perfectly. Yes. So thanks to Lumineer so much for sending us these Popo motors. We can't say enough about them. These are pre-production models. They're coming out in April. They'll be sending them to customers. Those will be the actual production models. Thanks for watching and we're gonna go crash some more stuff. We'll see you next time. What? Yeah! Woo! 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 Still good. Still good. Still good.